We have a ice climbers main. Yes. Okay. Uh, from New Zealand cookbook. From New Zealand. Yeah. Well, so no Australians here. No more. We got to cheer for our little brother country though. We do have to. Yeah, we got to cheer for the little brother. Um, hope he does something. Oh. We got to cheer for the little brother. Yeah, it's top 16. Yeah. Oh, I'll move that over. Ooh. Hi, Josh. We do, if Hoborg's from the States, we have to change that to USA from memory. And then we've got to wait to see what they play. <coughs> yeah. How do you update? Uh, if you just change it and press that one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh, Hoborg. This, this guy was in my um, pool. Did you? How'd you go in your pool? Uh, lost to this guy, and so did Rolik. Um, this person is very good at the peach uh, matchup, and probably good at most floaties, I imagine. So uh, yeah, cookbooks. Uh, Are ice climbers considered floaties? Uh, yep. Yeah, if you're not um, a fast faller, so combo comboable, yeah, then you're most likely a floaty, right? Okay, so it's like Jigglypuff, Peach. Yeah, even Martha's considered floaty. Martha's considered floaty? Okay. Yeah, because they don't um, fall fast. Um, okay. So, you know, if you were to up tilt a, a heavier character, they're going to start yeah. falling down <laughs> to the ground faster, which may, means you can combo multiple up tilts or you can combo yeah. you can combo them easier. Whereas floaty characters, you can hit. Oh, no. Maybe. I think this is hand warm ups. Um, is it hand warm ups? Yeah. He came back from that? That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, he made stage from that is crazy. Alright, this is hand warm up. Yes, over um, one of the bigger stages as well. That was wild. <laughs> but yeah, so like characters like Bowser, Donkey Kong would be seen as heavier. Yep. I'd imagine. Yep. Yeah. Captain Falcon, um, Fox, Falco, they all fast fall. Yeah. Um, but yeah, floaty characters are harder to combo because they just get hit away from you and they float yeah. and they take a while to come back down to stage. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm learning. Because I learned the other day that everyone has different, like, gravities. Yep. I'm like, okay. <laughs> that seems like something that and Nintendo didn't need to do in 2001. <laughs> they didn't need to do a lot of things to this game. And it's just like some massive happy accident that it all kind of worked out. Other than wobbling, which is bad. So it's okay. Wobbling banned? Yep. You've heard about wobbling. I know about wobbling. I yeah. didn't know it was banned. Yeah, you're not allowed to wobble anymore, so you won't see wobbles as ice climbers where they just grab and continually hit you, but you will yeah. see something called a handoff, which is where they'll grab you and then throw you and then re-grab you and then do a whole bunch of different things. So it's just wobbling with extra steps, but it's um, you can mix it up and uh, the, the opponent has chances to uh, escape with particular DIs. Yeah. Directional influence, which yeah. you know about, right? Directional influence. When you get hit... <laughs> <laughs> so, when you're getting comboed, it's not just like a, a, a traditional fighting game where you're just stuck what, waiting for the combo to stop. Yeah. Hoping yeah. you get a block or they stuff up. Yeah. You can actually decide ever so slightly where you're, where you get sent. Yeah. So, if you hold up, you're going to go up more. If you hold out, you're going to go out more. So, there's yeah. combo DI, escape from the combo, hold outward, or survival DI. Hold up and... and aim for the top right or top left corner of the of the box yeah. so you don't get hit out of it. Yeah. Alright. Okay, that makes sense. But I mean, what? With, with the ice climbers, right? Because, look, 
you remember the top 10 salty ice climber moments video? Yeah. Yeah, yeah all yeah. the wobbling in that. I was like, oh, that must just be like legal. Just don't be caught in it. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, it got banned uh, a couple years ago now. Yeah, damn it. Alright, so what, they would have just nerfed ice climbers. It did, but it also, wobbling was holding ice climbers back because most ice climbers were just going for the grab. Yeah. And then if their nana died, their, their secondary character died, some of them would just throw themselves off stage because they didn't even bother yeah. playing the game without their without their secondary without the character. Second. Right? Right. But now that wobbling's banned, these ice climbers are innovating and coming up with new, fresh techniques. Yeah. And there's a little bit of a resurgence. There was a dip with all the wobbling ice climbers, yeah. but then some of the ice climbers that um, yeah, were not doing so well, all of a sudden started doing well because all this new technology was starting to get developed. Oh, that's kind of sick, man. Yeah. All right, so it's like, yeah, okay. So because too many people were abusing a broken mechanic, Yep. everyone just sort of overlooked that character, and then when that mechanic got abused, everyone was like, oh, okay, this is usable. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Obog. That's so clean. And yeah, this is pretty crazy because Cookbook is definitely somebody that you'd be looking out for to get to top eight. Yeah. Um, and this being a top eight qualifier, yeah, we, we can see these Americans. Ooh, that was getting dangerously cl close to a wobble. I think we got the wrong characters. No? Wrong characters? I think. How do you mean? Like, is Cookbook Ice Climbers or is Hobo Ice Climbers? Oh, Cookbook's Ice Climbers. 100%. Because okay. yeah. I'm like, I just see Hobo just... Up and down in these fucking stats mashing. Um, so if you press a certain amount of buttons, um, yeah. you can escape the grab. Oh, okay. All right. Depending yeah. on your percent, if you have a lower percent, you can escape it easier. Yeah. So what they do is they'll—I um, forget what it's called. When you you wipe over all the buttons as fast as you can, so yeah. you can press as many buttons as fast as possible all to right. escape the grab. All right. You. Scrubbing. That makes sense. Oh, I Probably scrubbing. Scrubbing. Yeah, we'll call it scrubbing. We'll call it scrubbing. <laughs> yeah, we'll call it scrubbing. It makes it easy. <laughs> Talking about scrubbing, Hoborg is no scrub in this matchup. The floaty matchup takes looks like Hoborg's got it down. Hoborg takes the early lead. You love to see it. But uh, we do need to support Cookbook here. So at least an Oceana brother can get in there. We got this Cookbook. Let's go, Cookbook. <laughs> This should be interesting. Because what, this is a much bigger stage? Yeah, and without the platforms. Yeah. Um, so a lot of ice climbers are a very grounded character. Yeah. And um, can get camped out on platforms. Oh now, no. Nana guaranteed throws toward the edge when he gets when they get a grab um, yeah. next to the edge. Otherwise, it's RNG, right? So um, right there, that was almost a guaranteed kill. I think he did get the stock there, right? He got the stock, yep. yeah. That's going to be a dead Nana. Uh, unless uh, Cookbook can get there in time. Not quite. Hey, it's all about damage here now, but... Oh. Luigi can cover so much distance with those wave dashes. They're so crazy. That's good pace. We're seeing Hobo, like wanting to get aggressive as well, which I think is good. Yep, like, absolutely. Not wanting to play passive and try to find an opening between the two ice climbers if they split. He wants to get aggressive and break them up physically. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And there we go. Dead Nana again. We've got a Sopo. Solo Popo. Solo Popo. <laughs> Sopo? That sounds like it's okay. It sounds like something really bad. <laughs> like it Get your mind like, out of the gutter. No, 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 no. It sounds like it. It sounds like you're uh, I'm hearing some Texas man like just yelling at it someone. Sopo. <laughs> Get those fucking Sopo out of here. I <laughs> <laughs> like something real bad. Here we go. Come on, cookbook. You gotta seal this out oh, really this quick. That down B looks like a really good tool in this matchup. It looks like it splits him up on that final hit. Somehow. Like oh, man, Cookbook oh, has all the technology. Hit. Huge hit to bring it back to even. In the all important counter pick stage here. Don't want to drop it on your counter pick. You really don't. And I mean especially for Luigi at the moment. For Hoboard at the moment. Like, if he's able to keep this one competitive and really push Cookbook on a stage where he doesn't have the advantage, you'd imagine that, you know, a lot of that momentum's going to be able to carry in towards that third stage, and then that fourth stage, because he's playing with confidence then. Mm -hmm. Even mm -hmm. if he can keep this one tight, even if he loses it. Yeah, a lot to be said for momentum, yeah. right? Yeah, 100%.
And again, Sopo with a high damage. And any one of those down airs is going to send Cookbook all the way off stage. Wave dash in. Sports match is such an aggressive option. But uh, Hoborg is without fear. It's good to see. He's yeah, as you said, Hoborg's yeah. been playing aggressive. Playing like, with confidence. Playing with confidence. <laughs> this is the, the stuff of champions right now. Oh, no! Oh, so poor falls! Oh, <laughs> the edge guard from Hoborg gets it done, and we're going to be seeing him taking that 2-0 lead. Cookbook, dire trouble. Dire. The ice climbers. There is definitely a, an icy mountain to climb for Cookbook. An icy mountain to climb indeed. <laughs> Oh, I'm so proud of that. <laughs> <laughs> <He's got it. laughs> More slippery than these wave dashes from Luigi. Well, it could be turbulent waves for this dash. Good little projectile. Now, uh, again, these are both very grounded characters, so uh, maybe those projectiles will come in handy. That's going to be really, really rough um, recovery from Cookbook. That side B is one of their best recovery options, and it doesn't grab ledge while uh, the Ice Climbers spinning. is spinning. So the Ice Climbers is forced onto stage. Yeah. We, may, we saw Cookbook at least make the recovery and then get punted off again. Oh, what was that oh. filthy combo? Down smash to down smash to four there? Get out of here, Hoborg. I mean, he's playing so well. He's just taking liberty with every single opening that he can get. Mm. And for Cookbook at the moment, he hasn't really found a way to stop those openings being available. We haven't seen him, you know, want to play a little bit passive or want to try and slow down the pace of it a little bit. We've just seen Hoborg stay completely in control. Cookbook is playing Hoborg's game. Two right. And Hoborg again has Cookbook in disadvantage, stuck in the corner. Cookbook somehow finds a grab in all that chaos and gets their first kill of the game three. But down a stock and a bit. Yeah, this is rough for Cookbook, but, you know, being able to take that stock back, even being on half percentage, you know, it can really open up the opportunity for something that Cookbook has in store, maybe has prepared, maybe has something in like the back pocket of the playbook to bring out now. If anyone has something in their back pocket, it's Cookbook. Cookbook is such a student of this game. So many recipes. If you've ever talked to them, they have the recipe. They wrote the book on <laughs> all of this stuff. The they have actually literally invented stuff for ice climbers that ice climbers use around the world. Oh, I mean, he's invented the Cookbook. And that's why <laughs> ice climbers are cooking. <laughs> that's, well, it looks like Cookbook's getting cooked at the moment by Hoborg. Oh. Hoborg up three stocks and still comboing. Going for Nana. Oh. That's probably all but sealed it. There's a big, big ass for a Sopo to take down a Luigi without the wife. Without the wife. The wife and kids. Well, Luigi doesn't have a wife, so I don't think uh, Hoborg can feel any sympathy. But so He doesn't have a wife, but Cookbook doesn't have a life to spare. That is the end of the set. No more recipes. <laughs> Hoborg moving on to... Loser side, top eight, and an unfortunate ninth by Cookbook. I know they're going to be disappointed with that. I know they were gunning for top eight. God damn. But, uh, yeah, the Americans got something to say for it. I mean, the Americans have come over, and they've done pretty well. You know, I was hoping for a little bit more Australian pride to show up, I think. Uh, I don't know how it really works in Melee. I assume America's better. They're the strongest region <coughs> in the world. Yeah. Yep. Yep, that'll check out. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it was still a very good performance from Cookbook. We saw him sort of... Being able to perform when he had nothing going for him as well. Yeah. Which I think is, you know, a testament to him as a player, a testament to him as an individual. He was forced in towards Hobo's, Hoborg's game, and it just, like, he was still able to put up, you know, a semi-decent performance. Even Especially considering the, uh, the character that he was versing. Yeah. We don't have a top-level Luigi in Australia. Do we not, not really, no. Um, so, you know, I know that um, the, the bracket, um, Cookbook was predicted to play Josh Man, the number one player in Australia, right? Yeah. And one of the best players in the world was predicted to play um, McLeod, which is a peach. Would have been um, a rough matchup. And that is the worst matchup out of any of the top tier matchups, bar none. Yeah. Peach Ices. So Cookbook was practicing a lot with me. How do you prepare for the Luigi? It's hard. You can't. You, yeah. You can't. It's yeah. rough. It is rough. It's um, rough. Unless your name is Hoborg and then it's fucking fantastic. It's fucking free. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking free low. <laughs> yeah. 
That might be it, I guess. Is that that would be the last stage before uh, top uh, eight? I think now. Congratulations, it's all top eight. Toborg. Congratulations. Yeah, top eight. Woo! Let's go, baby. <laughs> go win it. Go win it. I need to see Luigi win because I think it'd be funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know probably, that you're probably not people... getting through, uh, Josh, man. But yeah, we could see. Uh... I know a lot of people don't like seeing Luigi win because it's what like. Hey, Josh. Marth. It's what Marth, uh, Fox, Captain yep. Falcon are the three like main. Guys. Uh, not oh, quite. Chic, no? uh, it's probably um, Fox and Marth yeah. up the top there, um, and then Sheik Falco, Captain oh, Falcon. Oh yes, yes, yeah. yes. Sheik and Falco, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That, if they're like the main top characters, I think it'd be funny to just see a Luigi win. Yeah, absolutely. I want to see a Luigi win. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime there is a low tier or mid tier on stage, oh, it's it the hard. underdog situation, oh, right? Yeah. And you're. Everyone's always secretly going for them. Yeah. Oh, so the characters have tiers then. Yeah. Yeah. So it, is it like community have decided what the community good, has decided it? Yeah, and it goes through like um, every couple of years. Maybe there's like a slight updates. Yeah, slight yeah. updates co- according to the meta. Yeah. But okay. uh, yeah. Oh, that's fo- kind of sick. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of sick. <laughs> it is. I don't. Know, I don't really know fucking anything about this game. So I'm, I'm glad I'm learning. I'm actually. I've actually learned so much about this fucking game this yeah. weekend. Yeah. Hey, Drew. It is cooked. Good. I think I just saw Hades. Right, well, I'm going to get out of here. Take care. Thank you very much for joining me. Thank oh. you. That was excellent. You're actually awesome to co- commentate with. So, uh... Would it, would it surprise you to know I do this as a job? Ah, <laughs> that's why. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm a Counter-Strike uh, commentator by profession. Ah, right, yeah. right, right, <laughs> so right, right. No me, wonder you... Without the, the knowledge of the game, <laughs> without you the just knowledge slotted game. into here. Yeah. <laughs> Commentating top 48 melee. Yeah. Day one. <laughs> Day one, yeah. I had Kai being like, oh, we might have an opening on main for you. And I'm like, why? <laughs> I was like, why? Why are you doing that? <laughs> so I was thinking to the side. I'll be, I'll be happy and cozy on the side stream in the carpet with the stairs and everyone jumps down for some reason. <laughs> it's fun. Hey, never like grow up. Here. You never grow up. No, you never grow up. You always jump down the stairs. I don't need to see if it hurts to jump down the stairs. I need to see. Hurt yourself on purpose the first time, then every time after that's probably going to exactly. be easier. Exactly, it would be very funny if I just just clattered down the stairs. Especially if no one was watching. Oh, you just yeah. have to just be sitting there like. <laughs> are there, uh, any, are there oh. any security cameras? <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's no cameras in here. I could probably get away with that. <laughs> All right, brother, I'm out Easy. here. Take care. Thank you very much for joining me, heaps. I appreciate it. Thank you for teaching me about the game. <laughs> but yeah, I think this might be it for us, chat. This might be it for us. I need to go check with Kai quickly to see if um, we have any more games for this stream. If not, it's all going to be on the main stream, which we'll probably raid. Um, and if we do raid it, there's going to be someone by the name of MJ Carr in there. And if MJ Carr is in there, chat, I need you all to just add him and tell him to fuck himself. Um, it'd be greatly appreciated. Because um, fuck that guy. Nah, I'm kidding. I love him. I love him. I love MJ Carr. I will have a quick check to go see if we have any more games happening on this second stream. Stick around. If not, go watch main. There's currently games going on there at the moment. Um, but yeah, we will be... Um, I mean, I'm going to be right back. I'm not going to change the scene or anything, but I'll be right back.